I did have to leave this running overnight to actually update, but during that time I did look into this a little bit more. I really wish I had some of these items. There's one sandana in particular. But this has left me with a few other questions. Like, this, by every reckoning I have, is Tenno Gen Round 7. Because there was the original one, then there's the new Tenno, then there was Round 3, 4, 5, and 6. Meaning this would be round seven, but everybody's kind of referring to it as round six. So either I've missed something or I'm just going to stick with that. That is why this is called Tenogen round seven. Console should have round two. It's either live now or it's going to be live in the next update. Something like that. They did mention it was either the last dev stream of 2016 or the one before that. I'm not really sure. The biggest thing I do miss about running this in Steam was the fact it used to have the Steam icon on it. But the Steam icon's not there anymore, anywhere. The only way you can tell that you're actually running it in Steam is by going to Tenogen. Unless, no, that brings up a different website. Anyway, and then all these new items appear that you can only get through Steam. Some of these do need to be retired. I still think make them available to buy with Platinum and just throw them into the normal menus but still give the people who made them some of the platinum maybe because there is Tenogen items in here like that that you purchase with platinum I say that pretty much every video these days first off would be the Ash Carabid helmet by well the name of the people who built them or designed them will be up here it looks kind of like a devil helmet but I kind of like the eye in the middle I don't know, I still kind of prefer his um, Prime Helmet to this one, unfortunately. Then there is Atlas's Telemon Helmet, which, now I look at this, it's by the same person, and there seems to be a theme to these. They all seem to be horny or spiky, because this has got spikes coming out of the shoulders and the back. <laughs> okay, the Banshee Echo Helmet. I looked at this and thought, that actually doesn't look that bad, but it actually looks like this is a collar that just kind of popped, if you will, and she's got giant cat ears. So this would be the Banshee cat helmet. Chroma's Vojnik skin actually looks like it's kind of battle damaged. Really looking forward to his deluxe skin coming, but in the meantime, this doesn't... Is that... Um, parent sequence logo very slyly hidden on the back there Ember now has a Grack skin of her own there's a few of these Grack skins actually kicking about um, and I looked at this and thought well there's nothing really special apart from just the kind of like the immortal skins where the, it's just a different layout and then I kind of because it was this direction then I started turning it and went okay I actually like that helmet more than anything else on here. That is a really nice helmet. Because it's just like got a blade down the front. This is not a new one, but this is an old one. But this is what I thought this actually was when I was going through. Because the Frost Emperor skin, this is the new one. And... If I didn't already have the Hailstorm skin, which is what Frost was wearing at the beginning, I would probably have gone for this because I, I'm not going to say I really liked it, but I looked at the possibilities with the colours and thought there's a lot more variance on here than there was that other one I had on before because there's lots of different sectors to it. The helmet to me looks really nice as well, but... Being somebody who runs the Aurora helmet, because it adds extra armor, it's the Arcane Aurora helmet, the original Arcane Aurora helmet. Helmets for Frost are pretty meaningless, because I'm not losing armor just for the sake of a visual thing. It's actually why I like the Hailstorm skin, because it's got lost lots of different sectors, so color possibilities were much bigger for this. Nyx also has a Grax skin now. The Grax skin's just... They're not that bad, actually. The first time I seen them, I thought, that's just kind of lazy because they've just taken the normal skin and put all these white lines or different colored lines all over it. But 
they're not actually as bad as I first thought they were because this is it actually looks much nicer I kind of I think by far that's got to be the nicest of the Grax skins because I'm just looking at the shoulders and again really nice helmet it depends which frame you use the most to be fair because even Saren has a new Grax skin and I don't know at first as I say I didn't particularly like these ones they were well done it just I just I don't have an excuse for it I didn't particularly like them I don't have a justification for it but the more I see them the more I like these things and the helmets that come with them are looking nicer and nicer like this one has little pipes that come off the back that's kind of like um, Valkyrie because she has the pipes that come off the back of one of her helmets and lastly there is two sandanas this one has a lot of detail in it because you've got fans moving and energy going in the back like a little flame and see it in the very middle here once you look straight at it it kind of disappears a bit like Nova's vents do but I like that but I think probably the best thing from this has got to go to the sorry sandana simply because this thing opens and I cannot figure out how to get it to open in the preview thing I wish I'd taken the thing of it I did have it open earlier but now I can't get it to actually open at all that's a bit of a shame but it actually opens to be butterfly wings because you've got the top wing here and the bottom wing underneath there has been a few issues with this thing kind of glitching out and staying fully open it was in the way of the pause menu at one point I don't know if it's even still able to keep it fully open but it was I've seen it once and as soon as I seen it thought I want that that's by far probably one of the nicest Tenogen things I've seen on Titania doesn't actually look as good as you would hope because obviously she's got this arc wing thing on her back so it kind of clips through that unfortunately because it would go really well on her especially considering she flies around as expected though with Oberon's Feox skin it does go really well the only real problem I found is when you went to attachments and you copied the same colors it doesn't really match the orange on here to the orange on the sandana actually it's also getting this weird green color which doesn't seem to be on the rest of his skin so leaving it in its standard colour matched much better. I actually really like this. I just cannot get this thing to open. I've just bought it. I didn't own it owning doing the other stuff. I couldn't get it to open. So the only reason I bought this thing is for doing this because it it's supposed to open, but I cannot get it to open anymore. Had to quickly look through the 19.5. 4.2 and the point 0.1 after that update notes and I found it they changed the sorry sandana and the spitfire sandana no yeah spitfire to be closed by default so that's why I couldn't get this thing to open it will only open if you well weirdly what I could have done on the ship was that and it opens that looks really nice I regret buying it because PayPal are going to have issues getting the money out of my bank because it's pretty empty at the minute, but I don't at the same time because I had, the more I use this thing, the more I just keep thinking, I can't say I've seen a sandana that looks this nice in a long time. And it does take up a lot of the screen, but at the same time, it doesn't because when you're gliding, they kind of go... All, not completely see-through but the way they're angled they don't take up the screen unless you're actually sliding that's when you might start to have issues but they close fairly quickly so I would have to say probably the nicest of the, everything I've seen from what I keep referring to as round 7 of Tenogen and it's a nice mechanic for sandanas to have and it does go just ridiculously well with Oberon. It's just a shame that it didn't go as well 
with Titania. 